Welcome everyone to ESPN's presentation of the 2011 Insight Bowl tonight from Sun Devil Stadium in Tempe, Arizona on a beautiful night in the Valley of the Sun. A Big Ten Big 12 matchup just the second meeting all time between Iowa and Oklahoma. Jordan Kanziri is the tailback now following Brad Rogers and Kanziri. Fought his way back near the line of scrimmage, ridden out of bounds by Jamarcus McFarland and David King. Fellow members, of course, at the time of the Big 12. Vandenberg on third and 10, throws, intercepted by Jamel Fleming, and he's chopped down inside the 15-yard line. Jaden Bird, the linebacker, has come in as part of this package as well, leading the way for another touchdown. The 11th rushing touchdown of the year for Blake Bell. Got him a first down. Play action pass for Vandenberg. Had time but couldn't find anybody. Now has a receiver. And it's Kanziri who got belted along the near sideline by Jefferson. But he held on. Knocked the nerves right out of him. And he stick with Kanziri and he stopped. For a two yard he loss. does as good a job of anybody of taking what he has and, and playing with the cards he's dealt. Vandenberg, another poor pass. See the umpire stand over the ball. That was the right thing. And they won't get there. Kanziri had no shot. Tress Way almost on the back line of the end zone. And Micah Hyde back for the punt. Standing at the 45. Oh, it's a bomb. Field position changer. What a kick by Way. Play action fake. He's in trouble and sacked by Travis Lewis, who came on a blitz. Look at Frank's down. He was a two time 100 meter champ in high school in Texas. And a lot of fast guys in the state of Texas. And hampered by sprained ankles all year long, the month before the bowl game has really helped him. The toss back to Brennan Clay. And Morris stood him up. Jones likely changing the play. Has time and throws caught first down. Camille Jackson again, true freshman from Arlington, Texas. Jones has not decided if he'll come back for his senior year. Tonight could play a part in his decision making. Of course, Oklahoma has plenty of Recent experience going through the decision making process with the quarterback Sam Bradford came back and Jones on target to James Hanna the tight end down to the 21 yard line. He doesn't get a lot of pressure. They throw it quickly. And they've had very few sacks given up this year. Now he's going to run for the first down. He got belted and there will be flags thrown by every official on the field. Second and goal, midway through the second quarter. Oklahoma already leading seven to nothing. Here's Bell trying to turn the corner. He walks in untouched. He is a touchdown scoring machine for the Sooners. They've moved the ball. They got stopped on that fourth down inside the 10 yard line. And they have to take advantage when they get opportunities tonight. Bullock's in trouble. And he's taken down for a loss back at the 16 back in 2000. Vandenberg on third and 14 didn't get rid of it and got flattened by R.J. Washington. He needs five more to tie Darrell Johnson Julianos for the all time career reception mark. Mike Myers kickoff down to Trey Franks. The kicker slowed him up just long enough. <laughs> Here comes the rush. Jones steps up on third and four, wide open. Roy Finch, nice move inside the 25. Had time to heal those sore ankles. He's been much more explosive tonight. Jones throws, caught, stills. First down inside the 10. Thanks to the great play by Ben from the four yard line. Kanziri got leveled by Jamarcus McFarland, Tom Wart. But Morris, good football player, too, boy. Good young football player. Jones throws, caught by Stills, first down. Tyler Nielsen, since he came back from the injury. Brennan Clay running left across midfield. 
Belldozer type formation, but with Landry Jones still in there, throws a swing pass to Brennan Clay. Three wide receivers on the field. Jones up and down the line of scrimmage with some instructions. Their all time leading passer, over 12,000 career yards, adds to that total. Nice catch by Camille Jackson. But you got to like that as a runner. Jones in there, throws, and there's the elusive touchdown pass. First and four games for Jones, and it goes to Trent Rattery, the backup tight end. In his last game at Iowa, trying to set the single season reception record and the career reception mark. It's not looking like he's going to do it tonight unless he gets much more involved. Nice tackle by Eva Loyer. Another four-man rush. Vandenberg pulls it down and goes nowhere. Wrapped up by R.J. Washington. Now the seven. Jordan Kanziri stopped for a loss of two. Florida, Florida State, South Florida, the only other teams that have won a bowl game each of the previous three years. South Florida didn't make a bowl this year. Brennan Clay! Wow! He had just the kicker to get around, and then they would have had to race to have a tremendous career as an assistant coach in college football. Stills the catch. Delivers a stiff arm. It gets yanked down by Prater, but it's a first down. Build on the lead with six and a half minutes to go. Brennan Clay running left. Run down by Tyler Nielsen, but another quality game. That quarterback on third down and two. Just three out of nine tonight. Only 42% for the year. 51st in the country. Bell has it and more. Big play. He's built like a defensive end. His dad, Mark Bell, played six years in the NFL as a defensive end. The Seahawks and Colts. Millard leaps over a tackler. And it's very close to another first down. It looks like he has it. Tanner Miller finally got him down. The fullback Miller showing his great athleticism. A disappointing year for the former number one team in the country, but a win would be their 10th of the season. They'd likely finish in the top 15 in the rankings. Honeycutt up and good. 35-yarder to put them up by 10 with 228 to go. Three-man rush after the Sooner showed blitz. Vandenberg throws incomplete. Wow. Hurst splattered Martin Manley. Iowa doesn't convert. It's definitely over. Fourth and four. Vandenberg flushed. Running for his life. And didn't get there. Got to the 30, but was stopped by R.J. Washington. You're going to win some games with that group. <laughs> yeah. They turn that whole Iowa program around. There's Bell into the end zone. Pushing the, putting the finishing touches on a remarkable last six or seven games of the season for Blake Bell. Starting in Kansas State when they unveiled that Belldozer package. And he hasn't stopped running into the end zone ever since. Well, as he said, we talked to him the other day. Yeah, it's a disappointment. We expect to win the Big 12 title. Whoa, good move. <laughs> Stoopsy. Stoopsy gets away with it. <laughs> Stay off the ice. Yeah. They send a receiver right over by the ice, and it's picked off by Wart, who managed to avoid the ice. Now he skates back toward the near side of the field and wisely goes down at the 40-yard line. Iowa's season is going to end at 7-6 and six. after winning a bowl game after each of the previous three years. That streak comes to an end. Landry Jones with the final play of the game. You wonder if it's his final play as a Sooner. That'll be a big storyline in Sooner Nation in the coming weeks. Longtime pals, parents, and stoops share one last word. Larry Jones will have a decision to make, but uh, making like be better off coming back. I would agree with you. Three straight ball wins now for Oklahoma, and they finish the year at 10 and three. Final score of tonight's inside ball: Oklahoma 31. <laughs> you couldn't help that Iowa 14. <laughs> if they still let us, we'll see you Monday night for the Fiesta Bowl. Oklahoma Sooners are your inside ball champs. Coming up next on ESPN, stay tuned for Sports Center and. 
live post-game coverage of the Insight Bowl, including the award ceremony, which you won't want to miss on ESPN3. <laughs> For Matt Mellon, Heather Cox, our entire crew, Sean McDonough, so long. Back to Sports Center. <laughs>